Hi everyone, my name is Abby and I'm a docent at the University of Michigan Museum of Natural History and today I want to welcome you to my science lab, also known as my kitchen. Today we're going to be making rock candy. We're going to make what is called a super saturated solution. A super saturated solution is a solution which can be anything like water or even a gas uh, that contains more solvent dissolved in it than you would normally have under regular circumstances. So the non-regular circumstances in our situation are going to be the heat that I'm currently applying to this pot and our solvent is going to be sugar. So I'm going to add twice as much sugar as I have water into that pot once it boils. And under normal conditions you wouldn't be able to add that much sugar, it wouldn't dissolve. In this pan I have prepared two cups of water uh, and then I'm going to boil it and uh, then we're going to add a ton of sugar to it. So now our water is boiling. Um, you can see the bubbles forming. And now we're going to add four cups of sugar and we're going to add it one cup at a time so that it has time to dissolve before I add more. And as we add it, I'm going to be stirring the solution so that everything dissolves really well and it's spread through the water evenly. Here's our first cup of sugar. It's a good idea to keep the water as warm as possible, or as hot as possible, uh, so that it dissolves. The sugar will dissolve faster the hotter the water is. Uh, now we're going to add our second cup of sugar. Stir that one in. If you like the smell of sugar, it'll smell really good. And then once that one is all stirred in, you can add your third cup of sugar. Uh, the water is getting really thick now, uh, but the sugar is still dissolving. And now we're going to add our last cup of sugar. Uh, we're going to wait for the for the sugar to be completely dissolved. Uh, it looks like it is to me. Uh, and then we're going to turn the heat off. We're going to let that sit for just a second so I don't burn myself. I'm going to use two different methods today to make rock candy. Uh, I'm going to do one on string, which is just regular old cotton yarn. Uh, and then the other one we're going to use uh, wood skewers. We're going to compare and contrast and see which one works better. Uh, my prediction is that the uh, string is going to work better because I think the solution will be able to get more into the yarn than it will be uh, the skewer. But I don't know, I guess we'll find out. I have two glasses. Okay, now that our solution has cooled down a little bit, um, I'm gonna pour it, half of it into one, in, half of it into the mason jar and half of it into this cup. Now we have our solution in our jars. It looks kind of yellowish. That's all the dissolved sugar. When using string, you have to have something to tie it, to weigh it down with, because the string's not heavy enough to stick down into the thick solution. I'm using a key ring. Um, you could use pretty much anything that you could tie string around. The recipe I read said to soak your string in the solution for a few minutes and then lay it out to dry for a few days so the crystals can begin to form on their own before you put it back in the solution. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to soak my skewer too, just in case. Now we're going to dip our skewer in the solution as well. Uh, I'm going to cover both these jars just to keep the flies out. And then we'll be back in a few days. We're back. Uh, I let these sit out for a few days, uh, they're nice and hardened and sticky. Uh, so hopefully that means the crystals will form really well. We're going to stick uh, this back into our super saturated solution and I'm going to tie the end around a pencil, making sure that I'm not letting it touch the bottom because uh, if it touches the bottom the crystals won't form as well. The pencil is balanced. Uh, this is for our wood skewer. Uh, we're going to stick this back in, and we're going to use clothespins to keep this one still. So we got both of these in, and now we have to wait a few days. It's been a few days. I have let these sit, and as you can see, nothing is happening. So we're going to try a new method, uh, but since you guys have already seen me do most of this, we're going to speed through it. Uh, while we're waiting on the sugar water to cool down for a little bit, I'm going to explain uh, the one step in this process that's different than what I did last time. I'm going to pour some sugar on a plate and um, get the string and the wood skewer wet and then roll them in the sugar. Rolling them in the sugar um, will give the sugar in the water somewhere to attach to, so hopefully they should form better. Uh, I'm gonna use two tall glasses this time because I noticed last time when I used the mason jar that um, the string actually wasn't 
suspended very far into the solution. It was only covered like an inch. So I'm gonna use the tall glasses because I think that would work better. I'm gonna try and coat it as much as possible in the sugar so that hopefully the crystals will develop easier. Just like that. Okay. This one is now also covered in sugar. And we're gonna make sure that it again isn't touching the bottom. See, I'm gonna let them sit for as long as possible. Um, if they're not making crystals again in a few days, I guess we'll have to try something else. We're back for our last and final rock candy session. Um, we are we have seen much progress on one of our tests and not much progress on another. I'm gonna show you our our failed attempt first. Okay, so this was our rock candy on our wood skewer. As you can see, it sat for like a week and a half and it has very few crystals on it. Uh, now we're gonna look at our yarn. Uh, so this one worked a lot better. Um, I would let it sit a little bit longer, but it hasn't made a ton of progress in the last couple days. So I don't know how many more crystals really would have formed if I let it sit longer. Here you go, look at that. So I'm just gonna taste it now and see if it's good. Tastes like sugar, but I think it looks super cool. It's got all kinds of crystals on it. If I had let it sit longer, I probably would have gotten a few more crystals, but. So, um, as you can see, our wood skewer didn't do too well. If I had more time, I might run a few more experiments and uh, investigate why it didn't work very well. I think it might've been because uh, the stick was touching the side of the glass, and uh, a couple of the articles I read said if you do that, it's not going to work. Luckily, we were able to get crystals on this one, which is why we did the two different methods in the first place, so that if one didn't work, the other one hopefully would, and uh, we were able to do that. So thank you for coming along with me on this rock candy journey. I'll see you next time.